Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Okay, so what we're doing right here is find, finding the following product in scientific E notation. So product means multiply. E means to use the letter E in place of times 10 to the power of whatever exponent you're dealing with. Now this is a really big number, 5 times 10 to the 38th times 3,000. But our laws of exponents and familiarity with scientific notation come to the rescue. So here's what I mean. I rewrite 3,000 as 3 times 10 to the third power. And then I rewrite what I had there before, 5 times 10 to the 38th, right? And now I'm just, I've got these big numbers, but I'm just multiplying them. So I can multiply in any order. So I'm going to multiply 5 by 3 first, and then I'm going to multiply 10 to the 38th and 10 to the 3rd. And since I'm multiplying, I can group them in any way without changing my values, right? I can group them. It won't change anything, right, as long as I eventually bring everything back together. And then I'm basically finished, because 5 times 3 is 15. 10 to the 38th times 10 to the 3rd it's 10 to the 41st power. Remember, we add the exponents there because we're counting the number of tens that we're multiplying. 38 tens by 3 tens is 41 tens. And this could be the answer, except they want the answer in scientific notation. So we take 15, we divide it by 10, and we get 1.5, right? But we don't want to change our number value. We want to maintain equivalence. So we multiply our second number by 10 to get 10 to the 42nd. Right? And here's our final answer. 1.5 times 10 to the 42nd. In E notation, we would just write 1.5 E 42. That means the same thing. So E means times 10. The number after E is the exponent. Alright, hope this helped.